Hello there, folks, and welcome back to... This is the Just Yes Yes News. Right off the bat, we have some disappointing news. Memology 101 has been suspended from Twitter. But what, you may ask, hmm? Well, the police in England put out a pandering promo for pronouns to celebrate Pronouns Day. Today is International Pronouns Day, which is a day particularly important to people who identify as transgender or gender non-conforming. Being misgendered can have a huge impact on somebody and their personal well-being. It also can be used as a form of abuse for somebody. And that just isn't right. Today is about raising awareness, getting people to have conversations, and understanding why it is so important to understand the pronouns that somebody wishes to be used for them. Have a good day. Anything for a parade, I guess. After seeing Officer Grandma preach to us about gender benders, our boy Memo threw his two cents in. And that was that. Or was it? Just mere moments after commenting on the promo, Memo had to go. Well, looks like Officer Grandma was with the language police. And in other news, Dick Masterson and Maddox are at it again. In an age-old feud lasting almost as long as the Hatfield and McCoys, these two knuckleheads are knuckled up again. This time, it's Maddox crying to the Twitter police. You see, Maddox, still salty from losing a girlfriend and a frivolous lawsuit to Dick Masterson, wants Dick banned from everything on the internet. He recently cried to Twitter support about someone supposedly doxing him, and somehow blamed Dick for the dox. Hmm. Madman Maddox could win a gold medal in the Olympics with these mental gymnastics. Dick tried to remedy the situation, but Maddox refuses to speak to him directly. What a jump! But things got even worse for the old crybaby. Someone started passing around an image of Maddox's bedroom. The internet erupted in a well-deserved mockery of man-child Maddox as the world laughed at his shark stickers and cartoonish bedspread. Not the sort of room decor you would expect from a grown man in his 40s. And as the picture made its rounds over social media, the enraged Maddox decided to report Dick to Patreon in hopes of destroying his financial support. Bad form. Dick once again requested Maddox to let him know how to fix the situation. But Maddox could be heard balled up on his cartoon bedspread screaming, I'm telling mom, you big old meanie. And now for a battle of the bulging bellies. Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas are in a heated, hate-filled hissy fit over comments each has made about the other. Ethan kicked off the drum up by taking a hamburger out of his mouth long enough to say this about Trisha. Apparently, she came out recently as a trans ma a male. Being misgendered can have a huge impact on somebody and their personal well-being. It also can be used as a form of abuse for somebody, and that just isn't right. Although I bet you Trisha's got in a large clip that's bigger than my cock. She's got, she's one of those Jesus weird girls, Christ, like, dude, she's got, like, an engorged clit that's, like, the size of a fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she's probably got gnarly-ass genitals. Trisha Paytas paused a pizza-pounding party long enough to say this in retaliation. Like, she's probably got gnarly-ass genitals. <laughs> what? Do you know what I'm saying? You can see them at TrishaLand.com, which I'm sure you have already seen it. I'm sure you've already been there. And that's why I wanted to tweet it to you, because you, you're you so concerned about my genitals and my, my meaty clip. That is bigger than your dick, for sure. Okay. Love Hila. She's pretty and beautiful. But this is my issue with her. This has always been my issue with her, is that she doesn't ever, like, chime in. Like, I like her. She's so sweet and so nice. She seems so sweet and so nice. But, like, you're on the podcast, and you don't chime in. You don't defend, like, anybody. Like, you don't defend, like... Anybody, you just kind of like laugh and agree with what your husband says. That's my only issue with her is that there's no real opinion. Your response? No opinion. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Well, clearly she doesn't read the comments because everybody seems to think clearly that you just come out of her show. Watch the podcast, in my opinion. She probably just yeah, she doesn't, doesn't get our chemistry. Well, she goes on to say that she, we're Hasid, Hasidic Jews. I believe they're Hasidic Jewish people. I'm not trying to be offensive, but I think that's what they are. I think they're like hardcore into Judaism. I get it, but also like, it seems weird for like a strict Jewish man to say that in front of his Jewish wife. This isn't Israel. Oh, the poor popular people are getting pissed off. But hey, that's YouTube, and this has been... This is just, 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 just.